Hello friends, in this video I will be creating an app on alarm clock so you can start a new android studio project so give the name as ex11 click on next api level is 16 next blank activity click on next and click on finish Okay. So we'll start the designing. Delete the hello world. Okay. Drag a linear layout vertical to the screen. So make it full length. Okay. Now uh, drag a large text. Change the text to time. Set time for alarm in seconds. Okay, so then drag a plain text here. Okay. And drag a button. So change the text to start alarm. and change the id of this text to txt time now you can go to the text view and for the button you can uh, write an on click listener with the name start alarm okay. click inside and go to the bubble symbol and click on create start alarm of view okay. now inside this first we will create the object for the edit text edit text e1 equal to edit text of find view by id r dot id dot txt time then get the value some uh, int i equal to integer dot pass int of uh, e1 dot get text of dot to string of. so now this value the value from the text box we have converted to an integer and stored in a value called i next we will create the intent so intent intent equal to new intent of this comma of my broadcast receiver dot class so this is the activity which we need to create so now go to the java folder right click and go to new uh, go to activity and create a blank activity the name of this activity is my broad first receiver okay, click on finish but now this come to the main function the error might be removed then create a pending intent pending intent uh, pending intent equal to pending intent dot get broadcast of this dot 
get application context of comma give some long value like a two three four three two four one two four three comma the intent comma zero and end by a semicolon then we have to create an object for the alarm manager alarm manager uh, alarm manager uh, some alarm manager equal to alarm manager of get system service of uh, alarm uh, alarm service with a semicolon okay. then alarm manager dot set of alarm manager Uh, dot rtc wake up comma system dot current time in milliseconds plus i into thousand comma pending intent okay so once the alarm has been raised, we'll post a message. Post dot make text of this this comma uh, the message alarm set in plus i i plus seconds so this will display the alarm and how many seconds comma post dot length long dot show okay. so this finishes our start alarm function now you have to go to the my broadcast receiver class so this uh, class should extend broadcast receiver so extends broadcast receiver so we don't need the on create function so you can delete this function okay now go to the red bubble symbol here and click on implement methods so it will show an on receive method click on ok so in the on receive method so we'll post the message so whenever this function is called you will get this post message make text of context comma alarm started okay. comma post dot length long dot show off okay then we'll got the vibrator vibrator uh, some vibrator equal to vibrator context dot get system service of context dot vibrator service so this will get the vibrator service vibrator dot vibrate of something okay. so it will vibrate for these many milliseconds now we have to give some permissions so we have to open the manifest file so open the android manifest the first is the uses permission so we'll give the permission uh, uses permission Android dot name here we have to give the vibrate permission. So Android dot permission dot vibrate. Okay. Also we have to register the receiver. The receiver is registered inside the application. So after activity 
So you have to register the receiver. Receiver. So give the Android name my broadcast receiver. Uh, no need for this dot. Okay. And close the receiver. So these two lines has to be added in the Android manifest file. you can delete this activity since we have registered it as a receiver no need for that activity so now you can uh, run your code you can click on the green button here Select any motion from here and click on OK. So now can, I can open my app here. So here it is telling that set time for alarm seconds. So I will set in 10 seconds. Let's start alarm. It says that alarm set in 10 seconds. So if that broadcast receiver is fired, you should get a toast message. Since vibration, you cannot uh, experience here alarm started messages there. So you cannot uh, show vibration demo in an emulator. If the same app you put in a mobile phone, your mobile phone will vibrate. Okay, thank you for watching.